Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Super Mario Bros. 4-inch Daisy figure from Jax. This one I found at my local GameStop, I gotta say, this is a fantastic looking figure. This figure, as you can see, includes the Superstar. So here's a little look at Daisy's packaging, looking fantastic, you can see. Let's turn it to the back here. This is the rest of the wave. We got Mario, we got Koopa Troopa, we got Blue Shy Guy, I don't know if that one's a new one, or a re-release. Daisy, of course, and Luigi. Pretty cool figures. I'm already really excited to see what the figure looks like. Here is Princess Daisy out of the packaging looking fantastic with the Superstar accessory. This is pretty cool. The last time I got a Superstar accessory was in the Peach's Castle, which is from here, of course. I definitely, if you're looking for this figure, if they don't have it out on the shelves yet, I would definitely ask to see if they're inbound. This is how I found out about this figure. It was inbound on the GameStop tracking status so it was gonna arrive in the store actually about a week later it arrived the employee was nice enough to hold the figure for me in the back so let's get things started with the superstar accessory now pretty basic it's just a yellow piece of plastic however with some painted eyes pretty cool and it's what we've seen before however it is pretty cool for your diorama or to build upon things you know for accessories or items on to the main event, Princess Daisy. Pretty cool. So, as you can see, I did a little waving pose for her. Of course, that's not the only pose you can do. This figure is pretty much just a remold of the Peach figure, and I will get into that later on in the comparisons section of this video. So, Daisy can rotate her head so much. Actually, she can rotate it 360. It's just it gets in the way. I wouldn't do it because her hair is shaped to kind of go over her shoulders so that's where they're supposed to be the elbows kind of move right there got some elbow posing right there pretty much just the same articulation as peach it does look like they did redo the shoulder joints however so yeah you can get some movement of those we also get some articulation right here at the waist it's on a ball joint something pretty different to note is that this one has more legs, this one doesn't. This is just more of filled in plastic, which could be better quality, of course. It can be more sturdy plastic. However, do note that the feet are molded together. So if that's a concern, well, not that much you can do about it. And that's pretty much all the articulation. There's no, I'm surprised that they didn't make new, um, like wrist. They just reused peach, peaches mold kind of which is all right don't mix up the back with the front the feeder that way pretty cool let's get into the details you can really see the the eyes they really put a lot more effort and there's a lot more parts for the eyes the texturing is a lot more complex you can see the little glows and the little like um just a little like shine in the eyes that's what really looks cool and makes it more realistic however i tried to get one that was good paint i got some extras of course but i picked the best one that i thought looked the best for this review also got the nice earrings right there pretty cool some green paint that's pretty cool like a tealish green paint the crown also is pretty good it's not gold it's yellow so do note that and do note that sometimes, if you're looking and being picky like I am, mine did have this little bit, the hair is not connected to, all the way down to the earring, like it's supposed to be on this side. But it is still pretty good. I went more for the face. The lips are painted pretty good. Not too over-exaggerated. We got another little um, jewel right there, pretty cool. Like a daisy flower. And yeah, we got some of the cool gloves. The hands are basically made up of Peach's model. Right here you can see they're pretty much similar. Just has that little bit of cutage at the end where it starts pushing out into a more of a flower shape. And then you can see Daisy's arms are exposed. As for Peach, the gloves, as you can see right here, pretty much similar in the gloves shape right here where the fingers are. Remolded, though to suit Daisy's exposed arms and Peach's less exposed arms because the gloves here are more raised. Hair is pretty glossy. I mean, that's not a complaint for me. I like how it has the little bit of lines right there. You can see the crown looks pretty good as well, the paint on it. 
yeah, the hair is pretty cool for the shape. Pretty much the same you get for the 2.5 inch one, just a enhanced detail. Comparison time, here's Princess Daisy, the 4 inch one, next to the 2.5 inch one. And definitely a great enhancement, I would definitely recommend getting this one if you can find it anywhere. I found it at GameStop once again, I haven't seen it anywhere else yet. Here's Daisy next to Princess Peach, and I gotta say, for this being a remold or a retool, it looks pretty good. It came out pretty good for the old mold that they used with the re-sculpting tools. Looks pretty good, but I definitely think we need an upgrade for Princess Peach now, her face. We should also get a 4-inch or 6-inch Rosalina figure. That would be awesome. And this time, please make earrings for it and a Luma accessory or something, Jax. Here's Waluigi. Now that's a good scale. To conclude this review, gotta say this figure is fantastic. Came out a lot better than I thought it would. And definitely looks a lot better than the promotional images. Usually the promotional images look better than the actual figure on the market. But this time it was the other way around. Pretty cool. I'm really impressed. Thanks a lot, Jax. Can't wait for the baby peach to come out next.